Hello stampers, it's Amy from Stampin' Magic, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have for you another crafty Christmas countdown project. This is a super simple and easy card. This one here. And this uses some of the elements from our Memories and More Merry Little Christmas card pack. So this is the Memories and More card pack. Um, there's lots of different cards in here that you can use for memory keeping, scrapbooking and of course more. So you can use them for your cards, um, your home decor projects and there's some really, really nice elements. Let's show you. Oops. So you get some smaller ones here and these fit our Memories and More pockets. So you get lots and they're all like double sided. So you'll get two of each, one with kind of like a cinnamon, one with a background. And you get some you can write on. These are really, really cool. And there's more here. So these are fantastic, especially if you make your own um, advent calendars. These were kind of quite handy for them, especially as the 24th, 25th tend to be bigger and more important on advent calendars. So you get lots and lots of lovely, lovely images and patterns. And you get some of these acetate ones. Let's turn it around the right way. So Christmas tree, you can put that over a photo or over a pattern. Got some more there. And then you've got some bigger ones. So really fantastic for your scrapbooking or memory keeping, home decor. These would make really good um, recipe cards. If you like to make um, your Christmas recipe, your own little books, making a list, I love that. Um, this one again, acetate with some really nice snowflakes on there that would be fantastic for a card as well you can just put that out add a few elements you're done um it'll be really fun to see how many cards you can make out of this set on its own and then you've got some kind of foily stickers that are if i can get them off they have a clear background to it so you can lay these over your your photos over your background images and they'll come in quite nice and you also get a sheet of of stickers which we're going to be using today so we're going to be using these and I've picked out one of the smaller cards Merry and Bright with a nice big sentiment which I thought was really lovely and it was normally this size I've just trimmed it down slightly so I can have a nice board around it for my card so that's what you get in the packs you get lots and lots of elements which can make a ton of cards or you can use for your memory keeping, you can use for recipe books or recipe um, note cards, all that sort of thing. So it's a really, really great pack to get. Other things you'll need, you'll need a card base. So this is a Thick Whisper White C6 size. You'll need a cherry cobbler panel, which I've cut slightly smaller. I will put the measurements for these on my blog, which will be in the description bar below. You'll also need I've used some of this really nice Merry Music um, designer series paper. You get a load of this in a pack and it is slightly thinner, um, but I think it's a really, really nice design. So we're going to be using that for a background bit there. So that's slightly smaller than the Cherry Cobbler. Then you want another panel, which would be the same size as the cards that come in the pack. So you could easily use one of these or one of the bigger ones for your background. It depends what you what stop um, what you've got in your stash, and the Merry and Bright card, which I've cut slightly down, just so it has a nice red border on that. And as I already mentioned, you will need the stickers, and we're going to use these hollies here for adhesives. You'll need some snail. Um, you can use any adhesive you like really, but the snail one, because the designer series paper I'm using is thin, thinner paper, it's not like a thick cardstock, 
um, using liquid glue might show through. So you're better off using a dry adhesive with this. So we've got the snail to adhere that down. I've got some Tombow glue, which is my favourite adhesive to use. Um, that's just to put all the other elements together. And we're going to pop up our sentiment panel with some dimensionals. Okay, so bringing in all my elements, we're going to start sticking stuff down. So I'm getting my snail for the paper. And you just flick it off if you have any trouble with snail, because they sometimes tend to stick. As you can see there, it's kind of few times it's catched and stuck so you want to press down and flick press down and flick and flick and I do one in the center for good luck and then we're done with that okay so this we want to leave a nice border and we'll press that down And we're going to grab our Tombow and we're going to glue this panel straight down onto here. And again, leave a nice border. When you're doing a very, very simple card, um, it's nice to have the layers. I think it just helps everything pop and um, it adds that extra element to it. And it also makes the card thicker. I really like when the cards feel like quite sturdy and thick. It just gives that feeling that it's made really well. Okay, so we're going to stick this to this. Again, we're using some Tombow. And we're actually done with the Tombow. And we're going to be bringing this panel up with the dimensionals. And again, placing that nice and central. So you've got a nice same amount on each side. You could put it off center if you like and then maybe add some ribbon down the side. That would be a really great way of upping the card a little bit, adding the extra elements there. And then bringing in the stickers. So we're gonna put this, oh, if I can get it off, this holly on the edge there. And then this one. I'm going to put on the bottom there. And that is our card for today. Like I said, it's using the Memories and More Merry Little Christmas card pack. As the name suggests, it's Memories and More, so not just for memory keeping. It doesn't just have to use those cards to fit into our Memories and More pockets. So if you like this card, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. There will be more videos coming in my Crafty Christmas Countdown series. Um, do head over to my Facebook page, there is more on there. I do post other things I'm making that I might not necessarily share on YouTube. So do check that out and please give that a like and follow. Have a lovely crafty day. Bye.